What's going on guys, it's Zach, aka Zio Fox, and today I'm doing a 101 video on 3D printing. And as you can see behind me, I have what's called an FDM printer or fused deposition modeling. Now, that's one of about three major types of printers that are out there on the market today. So we're going to jump right in and talk about that one. So like I said in the beginning of the video, there are three main types of 3D printers that are on the market today. The first one being an FDM printer, which is like the one that you see behind me. The second and third types of printers that are out on the market today are stereolithography and selective laser sintering. Now I'm not going to go too much into those today. That's going to be parts two and three of this video. And FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. And the easiest way to tell you guys how this works is think, visualize for yourselves a second, a hot glue gun. How it has that stick of glue that sticks out the back and when you let it heat up and you squeeze the trigger, it forces that glue through and it basically you can draw a line of hot glue and stick whatever you want to it. This printer behind me does the exact same thing as a hot glue gun would. It layer by layer lays down layers of plastic melting it together. It uses a spool of filament like this one. Now there are many many different types. There's PLA and then there's ABS. ABS is your standard plastic for most of the toys that you have out there and if you've ever gotten one of those hot and it starts to melt, you know how it has that kind of funky smell to it, that's normally the best way to tell that you've got ABS plastic. Now PLA is a more natural based uh, 3D fil uh, yeah, 3D filament. Now you can create all sorts of kind of things with it, but you have to be careful as far as what you want to print and how you print it. Normally what you want to do is if you're printing a large volume or a large object, uh, you would you want to use what's called brim. Now what brim does is it creates a very thin but sturdy outer layer that gives the main part of your print something to stick to. That way when you go ahead and get further along in your build, it doesn't tend to peel off the platform and cause warping. And that's another thing. Warping is tricky at best to master you gotta find that butter zone as far as the right amount of fan speed and cooling it that way. It just takes a little bit of time and practice to get it dialed in right. Now of the FDM printers there are two main types. There's the Delta printer and there's I guess what you could call your standard printer. You know how it has an up and down motion and then the travel the head of it moves back and forth on an X and Y axis. That's your standard, quote unquote, standard printer. Now, mine is the Delta printer. I like it because it's more open and it gives me a pretty big build platform with the minor upgrade that I did to it with the piece of glass that I use as my build plate. It gives me roughly 10 inches in diameter by 11 inches tall. So you're looking at over 100 cubic inches worth of space that I can, I can fill. This is a Delta printer. It's got three long towers that control the movement. 
and it's got a circular build platform. As the printer heats up, the hot end as the printer heats up, only the hot end is going to get hot. Now, I don't have a heated build platform because I'm using a glass mirror. I found out that if I just use that, I get better prints, but that's just my printer. Here in a second, you'll see the printer spring into action, and you'll understand how the Delta printer works as far as moving across the build platform. Each individual tower works in unison with each other to to go up and down on the Z axis as well as move across the X and Y. As you're able to see it's laying down a very thin layer of the silver filament as part of the base layer for this particular print. Over here on the side you'll see that yes it is a jumble of wires but within that jumble of wires there are two circuit boards. One circuit board is an Arduino Mega and the second board is the controller for the stepper motors. Now the stepper motors are different from servo motors or um, regular DC motors. But they act in similar ways as servos. Meaning you can tell them to go to a specific position and then stop and they'll hold that position for as long as directed to per the program. Now when you go ahead and slice a model for 3D printing, it generates what's called G-code. And G-code is essentially a bunch of coordinates that tells the print head where it's supposed to be in space. Now Delta printers are generally more notorious for calibration issues than any other printer out there. Because there is no one motor that tells it to go up and down and one motor to tell it to go left and right and then another one to tell it to go forward and back. There are only three that do all three of those things simultaneously. That's where calibration for these becomes a bit of an issue. The easiest way to do it is to take your measurements there are great forums out there for getting your measurements done and it tells you where to measure, how to measure, what they generally should be per your specific printer. After you get all those measurements and input those into the firmware itself, you can go ahead and upload it back to the printer and run your uh, standard calibration and and see how well that worked. Well, that's it for at least part one of FDM printers. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love giving you guys this information. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. Let me know what you guys think about this up and coming series. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus if you have any questions whatsoever please do not hesitate to give me a give me a shout I would be more than happy to answer your questions give you tips and tricks about calibrating deltas or just about 3d printing in general so there you have it there's part one two more to go if you guys can think of anything else hit me up on Facebook Twitter or Google Plus I'll be happy to help you guys out with anything you guys want. Alright, and until next time, I'll see all of you on the other side of the interwebs. Take care.